First of all, congratulations your winning against G2. Uh, do you think that this win uh, will affect uh, the continuation of victories uh, with your team? Uh, I think we are very inconsistent as a team. So no results actually means anything for us right now. But it will for sure give us confidence for the following week. Do you think uh, you can continue your victories towards the playoffs? And uh, what do you think your team uh, will succeed in playoffs or even the final? Uh, I think playoffs is almost guaranteed for us um, and I think we will be a better team in BO5s than in BO1s so I think we will do great in playoffs. How far we will go I can't say from now because we are still very inconsistent and we are going through like a lot of phases as a team. We have had really bad weeks, really good weeks, also bad days, good days. So if on playoffs we are having a good day in a BO5 we can beat anyone, we can also lose to anyone. Do you think the transition between national leagues like ERL uh, into uh, LEC affect your mindset? Uh, do you have uh, some kind of struggle uh, to compete uh, in the highest uh, competition? Um, I think the transition is pretty difficult. Like at least for solo laners, the difference between LEC and even Spanish or German league is insane. Like you have to unlearn everything you knew about your lane and waves and macro and learn something new. Um, I think I managed to do that so far um, and about my mindset there's nothing that I, I I didn't really have a struggle but this team has a lot of talent right like you look at humanoids Karzy, shadow there's a lot of talent on this team there's also that produces inconsistency as well so you need to sometimes as a player put aside your ego and do what's best for the team right which is in my case to um, be as consistent as possible and um, be a leader, especially outside of the game, because in game, for example, Humanoid as a veteran, he's um, also a leader, right? But I need to be a leader outside of that game to make sure they have everyone has a positive mindset, um, everyone is doing their best to win, and there's no like uh, tension between teammates, right? So the only struggle I would say was assuming this role which I wasn't very comfortable with at the start because I'm always used to be like a star player, like ever getting all the minions, playing Fiora, split pushing <laughs> enemy to death. Like that's my style, right? But I had to change a bit for this team. I'm fine with this, it, but it was a bit of a struggle. Uh, do you have any shout out with uh, any Greek players that you have been with the team at your pretty or when you competed in uh, Greek national leagues in Nexus uh, or Arsenal Gaming? Uh, Shout out to Pretty for sure. He was a great teammate. I learned a lot from him and he was a great uh, person as well. He, he was a very good friend of mine. Um, shout out to, well, pretty much everyone that was in Arsenal. Comp, that's now my colleague in LEC. Um, I really miss playing with him sometimes, like especially after Arsenal. I had uh, one or two years, I was like, I wish my Eddie was Comp right now. <laughs> but yeah. And um, I guess shout out to Warrior Lady, if it's, it sounds kind of weird. Warrior Lady and Freezy were like the first two good top laners that I faced in uh, National League. And I will always remember like playing against them for the first time and how I had to improve to compete with them. What uh, Greek players uh, didn't do right to be in uh, some uh, higher National Leagues or LEGO. We have seen Comp, Forgiven, we have Labrov who won the EU Masters, but uh, some players can't do the next big step. What do you think? Uh, is or other National Leagues lacking uh, from players that can rush uh, their uh, path to LEC? I think a big part of what's missing in National Leagues is how to manage your waves properly and how to play mid-game. And also a lot of players don't have knowledge of other lanes than their own lane. Like I see top laners that never look at other lanes on the map and they only know how to play top lane. But if you ask them to play both, they would yeah. not know very much, very well how to do it. I think to be in LEC, you need to know every lane. And by taking a quick look at what's happening in that specific lane, knowing like what they need to do and how you can help them do it without necessarily them telling you. Um, also a big aspect is communication and how dedicated you are towards the game because in LEC if you don't put in at least 10 hours a day into league and not just playing solo queue mindlessly like that's not practice. You have to watch VODs, to theory craft, to think about matchups like you have so much stuff to do that in National Leagues is not really necessary to win. Like you can, I wasn't 
doing my best in national leagues. I mean, it feels bad to say it, but it's true. Like I see now that if you dedicate like all your day to league, it feels a lot better than when you don't. Finally, any last words about uh, what are your goals towards the end of the season uh, or in a few years later? Uh, my goals towards the end of the season is to be more consistent with the team. I think we have the potential and there is the talent in the team to to be even top two in this region. I don't know about uh, beating G2 because I think G2 is a really, really good team. Um, but we have the potential to be there. I just want to see more consistency from us, like um, beating all the teams that are worse than us and losing to the teams that are better than us, I'm fine with that. Losing to teams that are, we are better than them and then winning some random game against G2, for example, that's obviously better than us right now. Uh, it feels a bit worse. Thank you very much, uh, Rome. Uh, congratulations on your victory again against uh, G2 and I uh, wish best luck uh, in the next uh, games. Thank you.